Hey YouTube family, thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm very happy to see you. And I wanted to ask you, do you ever feel like you are lost in a dark place? And like the ceaseless, endless black void is just sucking you in and you're just in a really dark place mentally? Yeah, me too. I've totally been there. So today we're going to talk about what it feels like when we are in that dark place and some things we can do to survive feeling lost in a depression or a dark place and things we can do to hopefully get things moving in a positive direction. So let's talk about it. Hello everyone, my name is Zacharias and this is Thank You Universe. And I've been thinking about you all because something's just been in the ether lately. Like, I've heard people talking about it, um, I've read people talking about it online, and there just seems to be something in the air. It seems like a lot of people are going through a really challenging time right now, and we can feel like we are lost and stuck in a dark place. So, before I say anything else, I just want to say and remind you that you are not always going to feel this way. If you're feeling terrible right now, if you're feeling awful right now, if you're feeling lost in a dark place and you want to escape the void, but the void is staring into your soul and you're just like, hey, what's up? We've been chilling for a while now and I'm just wondering where this whole infinite void of blackness thing is going. Like, where are you taking me with this? So remember that you feel terrible right now, but it's not always going to feel this way. And this is something that I learned to tell myself growing up because I dealt with a lot of depression growing up. And I would try and think of my moods or my feelings like the weather. Like, hey, maybe it's raining right now, but the sun will come out again eventually. No matter how long the rain is lasting, it's not always gonna be this way. And it can seem like it's forever and it can seem a little hopeless and there's a part of you that just wants to give in to despair and say, why am I even trying? Why am I even here? But it's going to get better. So you have to remember that you're not always going to feel this way. And we are approaching the winter months right now at the time of the recording of this video. And a lot of people deal with SAD, SAD, that is Seasonal Affective Disorder, which they made an acronym called sad because psychologists think they're clever <laughs> but I like it and when you have seasonal affective disorder your mental health and your mood is changed by the shift in the weather and many of us are very connected to the seasonal cycle and sunlight is actually very important to your mental health and rates of depression can increase when it gets cloudy or rainy and we don't have access to the delicious sun, which is the life force and food of this entire planet. And so you have to pay attention to these factors and think, okay, why am I feeling this way? Am I feeling bad because I haven't had enough sun? Is there something in my life bothering me? Am I depressed just because my brain's a little wonky right now? Have I not been doing my self-care? And really ask yourself, why am I feeling this way? Because we get stuck in depression and sometimes we don't know why we're sad and we don't really confront it or face it and so we never move along from it because we need to address those energies before they can be released. Or maybe you're like, no, I'm depressed and I know exactly why I'm sad. Well, that happens too. <laughs> and. We need to try and do what we can to change our perspective and a big part of that is doing at least one thing that day because we can feel depressed and overwhelmed and not even want to go outside or even out of our bed and so if you're watching this video curled up in a blanket on your smartphone or your laptop that's cool just do one thing that you feel like doing that day whether it is taking a shower, or getting something to eat, or going outside. Don't focus on all the tasks that you have that will overwhelm you and make you more depressed and make you more isolated and more fearful. Just do one thing, whatever it is, even if it's just bunkering down and maintaining your sanity for that day so you can hopefully get some rest that night 
and feel a little better the next day, just do that. Because it's the small and simple things that really have big effects on our mood and our mental state. Remember, doing something like taking a shower, like before you go in the shower and after you get out, that can totally change your mindset or whatever self-care it is you do. Just going on a walk, going outside. What I like to do is going out and meditating for a bit and putting my bare feet in the soil and earthing. And it changes your head state and that's what we're after here because we're lost in a dark place and that dark place is our mind because this whole reality that we experience, it's all an illusion. It's all created by our perceptions in our mind. And I know we think things that are very serious and very real and we get depressed about it and the very serious things in our life. But remember that we do create our reality by the way that we look at things. The way that you look at the universe is the way that the universe looks at you. And if you stare into the void, the void will stare back at you. So maybe try looking at something other than that infinite black void for a while. And I know it's difficult and I'm not trying to talk down to anybody because like I said, I've been there. So whatever works for you, whether it is making yourself a healthy snack, try not to have too many depression meals, okay? Because that's just gonna make you feel worse. But we do these little things that can change the state of our mind and change our headspace so we can get more positive energy accumulating and then we keep improving and doing better and then we're feeling a little bit better and we can <laughs> live our lives and handle life's challenges a bit better. And another important factor is to not judge our own negativity and think that we are bad and a shameful person for being the way that we are. In a lot of spiritual circles, a lot of YouTube channels or groups or communities, there is this emphasis on always being positive and always being happy and you know, you can't feel bad because that's bad and you don't want to be bad, right? Because you manifest what you feel like and if you feel bad, you're just going to manifest bad things. It's okay to feel negative. It is okay to feel bad. It's even okay to feel depressed. And it's okay to feel like it's not okay. It's okay. We need to stop judging ourselves for feeling depressed. Don't say, I'm bad because I'm depressed. Say, I'm feeling really alone, isolated, depressed, or hopeless even. But that's okay. I don't need to judge myself. I'm not a bad person for feeling this way. I have feelings and that's acceptable. You never need to ostracize certain feelings or try and push them away because ultimately the feelings you try and push away, they stay. What we resist persists and we need to acknowledge our own darkness, our own shadow, our own depression, the things about ourselves that make us feel depressed because we think we should be a different way. But instead of thinking you should be a different way, think I am this way, this is how I'm feeling right now, and I accept it, and I don't need to double the suffering by punishing myself for saying that I'm bad for feeling bad. It's just an experience you're going through. And remember that your life is a beautiful journey, and you're not always going to feel super happy and always gonna feel super positive, and I honestly don't believe that is what we should even be striving for. Yes, we want to live our best lives and self-actualize and constantly increase our set point of positive vibration and keep getting better. But without the negativity, without the depression, we would never appreciate the positivity. For me in my life, whenever I've gone a long period of time without depression, I feel awesome and I'm just like, wow, things are so great. And we can kind of forget what it feels like to be depressed, but then when you get hit with a uh, period of depression or even just a really bad day, it can be a little jarring because you're like, oh, this feels bad. And we don't need to always feel positive. It's okay. It's part of our beautiful life journey. It's part of our experience. Things come in waves and cycles and sometimes we're gonna feel amazing and other times we're gonna feel really, really bad. But that is what gives meaning to life in this experience, in our dualistic reality, even though duality is an illusion, <laughs> but we experience things dualistically. 
positive and negative because if we just felt positive all the time, we wouldn't even know we felt positive. That would just be how things are. So our negativity is that contrast, and that is where we build ourselves, and that is where we build character, and we have our dark night of the soul, and everything seems like it's going to chaos, but then we make it through that experience, and on the other side is a beautiful ray of sunshine, and some butterflies, and a bird, and oh, your best friend baked you your favorite pie. I don't know what your favorite fruit is, but let's just say blueberry, because blueberry pie sounds really good right now. <laughs> so, just try to understand that this negative experience you're having is part of your life journey and you're going to overcome it. You're not always going to feel this way and you're going to build yourself back up again. And <laughs> that reminds me of a quote that I really like that I'm going to paraphrase because I don't know exactly how it goes, but an optimist is someone who realizes that taking a step forward and taking a step back isn't the end of the world. It's more like a cha-cha. <laughs> and I actually really like that quote because we do try so hard to improve ourselves and do better and live our best lives and learn and grow. And then we have slip-ups and we feel like, oh, all that progress I made is for nothing. I'm still the same person. Well, you still are the same person. You're the same person who improved and you're the same person who had a slip up. But just because you slide back a little bit doesn't mean that you haven't learned anything from the experience. You can take each negative experience and each depression as an opportunity to grow. And you are doing better than you used to. And in the negative mindset, you might want not want to tell yourself that. And you might say, no, I just feel bad and things are bad, but that's just a negative voice in your head. And we don't want to listen to it. Because life doesn't have to be perfect, and you're not going to feel good all the time. So remember, do what you can on those days where you feel really bad, whatever little thing you can do. Don't judge yourself and know that it's going to get better again, and you're not always going to feel this way. So, I hope you feel a little better after watching this video. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a like. Please subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see some more. And I will be seeing 